learningspace.com.ng Hello out there. Yeah, you're welcome again to our series on uh, measurement and unit. Uh, in my previous video, uh, you remember I was trying to solve a question on unit equivalence. I would like to share more light on that. Uh, I was trying to maintain, you know, time, 9, 10 minutes. I don't want you guys to get bored or tired out there. So I'd like to take the question again so that you understand it better. Now, the question actually is on unit equivalent, UM87 question 1. The question uh, is, which of the following units is equivalent to kilogram meters per second? Which of the following units? You now, you can see the options on the board. Now, to correctly answer this question, you need to know the quantity that has this particular unit. And that is, of course, our uh, momentum. Okay? That's momentum. And our uh, momentum, momentum, momentum is mass times velocity. Now, change in momentum is impulse. Okay? Change in momentum is, of course, impulse. Impulse and the impulse is force times time, and that is force. The unit of force is, of course, Newton. The unit of uh, time is seconds, and that will give us uh, Newton seconds. So, the unit equivalent to kilogram, okay, to kilogram meters per second is Newton seconds, which is option C. Okay, that's very easy. Option C. Now, quickly again. Uh, let me take you to precision in measurement. Precision in measurement. And the first question we have here is UME 86 question 1. Okay, precision in measurement. Now the question is, which of the following represents the correct precision if the length of a piece of wire is measured with a meter rule? Okay, now let me introduce you to this simple expression. Uh, m plus or minus 0 0.5. Now, 0 0.5 is the precision for meter rule. Now, if you look at the options, 35 mm is option A, B, 35.0 mm, C is 35.0 uh, mm, Th option D is 35.01. Now, the correct option is B, which is 35.0 mm. Again, you need to be careful and look at the decimal places the options are placed because we have option A, 35. Option B is 35.5, and that's the correct answer because it is measured to one decimal place. Okay, that this option C is also a distraction which you should not go for. All right, so that's option B for that question. So now let us see uh, derived units. You and me, it is six question four. This question is on derived units. Which of the following is a derived unit? Now, mind you, we have uh, fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities, we have fundamental units. E.g., a simple example is time. Time is a fundamental quantity, and the unit is seconds. That means our seconds is a fundamental unit. Now, we are looking for a derived one. Now, option A is kilogram. Kilogram is a fundamental unit. B, meter. Meter is also a fundamental unit. And C, Kelvin. Kelvin is a unit of temperature, which is, of course, temperature is a fundamental quantity. So Kelvin is a fundamental unit. So the correct answer here is option D, which is Newton. You have me to see question four. The answer is Newton. Newton, of course, is the unit for force. And force is mass times what? Acceleration. And that is uh, option D is correct. OK? So again, we move on to fundamental SI unit. Fundamental SI unit, UM85, UM85 question one. Don't forget, take it slow, uh, that you are logged on to learningspace.com.ng. Now quickly, let us see UM85 question one. So fundamental SI, which of the following is not a fundamental SI unit? Which of the following is not? So. That means we are looking for the odd one. Option A, meter. Meter, of course, is a fundamental unit. B, ampere. Ampere is a fundamental unit of current. Current is a fundamental quantity. Now, Kelvin, of course, option C. Kelvin is a fundamental unit of temperature. Temperature is a fundamental quantity. Okay, then D is seconds. Seconds is a fundamental unit of a fundamental quantity known as time. So the odd one is radian. Okay, so 
The question which of the following is not a fundamental SI unit is E, radian. Okay, the next one we want to see is on micrometer screw gauge. Don't forget, we are trying to look at questions that explains all the subtopic in measurement and unit. We have eight subtopics. So all the questions we are taking are explaining each of those topics across board. Okay, so we are looking at PCE 1990 question one. Now, the thickness of the central portion of a thin converging lens can be determined very accurately by using A, vernier caliper, B, a telescope, C, a micrometer screw gauge, and D, a microscope. The correct answer is micrometer screw gauge. To measure the thin converging lens, uh, the thickness, you use micrometer screw gauge. Now, check my little notes on that in the previous video, okay? Now, uh, we have, um, the next one is, of course, on Vanya Caliper, uh, that's UME 1999. Question one is on Vanya Caliper. The inner diameter of a small test tube can be measured accurately using A, micrometer screw gauge, B, pair of divided, pair of divider. Okay, no divider, that one you have in your, in your mass sets. That's what they are saying. C, meter rule. And D, pair of vernier caliper. The correct answer is uh, pair of vernier caliper. I have a short note for you. You can see it on the screen on this. Vernier caliper measured both internal and external diameter. Okay, why micrometer screw gauge measures only the external diameter. Now, quickly, let me take you to... The next uh, subtopic I'd like to show you is on measuring irregular body. Now, irregular bodies are actually shapeless bodies. Bodies you cannot, uh, some of those bodies out there, you cannot say, okay, this is a cone, this is a cylinder, this is a rectangle, okay? They are referred to as irregular body. And we measure their volume using measuring cylinder and eureka can. So they're asking us questions on that. The first one we see here is PC 96 question 1. The question is, the volume of a stone having an irregular shape can be determined, can be determined using, now if, we, if you followed my explanation, to measure the volume of an irregular shape body, you use Eureka can or a measuring cylinder. So option A, meter rule. No. B, measuring cylinder, which, of, which is of course the answer. And C, vernier caliper. That's wrong. D, micrometer screw gauge. Now, the correct answer is measuring cylinder. You'll see a little note I have for you on that. It's on the screen. You can just pause and uh, view it. The volume of object of an object is the same as the volume of liquid displaced in a container, such as measuring cylinder and or eureka can. Okay. So, quickly, we'll move on uh, on this and look at uh, weight measuring uh, device, weight measuring device. The device or the instrument, if you like, that is used in measuring weight is, of course, spring balance. So quickly, I would like to uh, show you the question UME 78, 1978, question 10. Of course, <laughs> this question is older than many of you out there. Okay, to determine the weight of an object, you, ca you could, A, use a beam balance, B, use a spring balance, C, Find the force necessary to give it an acceleration. And D, use none of these method. And E, use any of these method. The correct answer is use a spring balance, which is, which is option B. Okay. Um, we have uh, UME 78 question 9. The international agree system of units, SI, UME, 78 question 9 the international agreed system of units for physical measurement are of course the agreed units is for length mass and of course time and their unit is meter kilogram and seconds so the correct option is kilogram meter and second which is option c okay thank you very much i will see you in the next video